Hey everybody, FP here. In this video I want to quickly summarize my next trash farming experience after doing 100 3 pack clears. Loot I got will be shown at the end, but for now I'm showing my two naked alt mages run just to show that blizzard kiting isn't reliant on gear but practice. Pool is the same straightforward, you want to position blizzard so that all three ghouls are caught in it at the same time. Best way to do that is to start casting on the far left side of the door instead of the middle. That will give the furthest one most time to get caught in the blizzard. Usually you just blink to gain enough distance to not stress out, but if you are using speed Zanza even blink is not necessary. Both Zanzas are great for this farm, class buffs and ZG buffs are also amazing in it, so I use my priest druid paladin to buff my two mages for faster clears. Let your better gear than experienced mage be the puller. He must be the one gaining initial aggro and casting max rank blizzards while the other mage starts with rank 1 blizzards. Your primary objective is to clump ghouls into a ball as fast as possible to maximize every blizzard cast. If they are spread in a train, initial ticks of blizzard don't hit the furthest one and last few ticks of blizzard don't hit the closest ones. To clump them together you have to make sharp turns with your aggro mage, lead them to the wall as close you are comfortable with, then either blink or turn and run. Use secondary mage to position blizzards into future pathing of the ghouls, not the current pathing. The biggest change in what I've learned the past week doing this is to never use frost nova. It's just not worth heartbeat breaking nova early, so this method here with second mage keeping them slowed while main mage blinks through them is the best thing you can do to change the direction of the ghouls. I found that changing direction at this spot at the door makes most slime problems go away by keeping them permanently in the middle. You will come across odd pool here and there, uh, like in this one, where you will have to have uh, one close contact with them. Another thing that helps you do this is kiting ghouls in outer circle instead of inner circle near stairs that will give just enough time for oozes to permanently remain in the middle during kiting. The last 20% they will catch up, but last 20% are usually the easiest part. When it comes to camera angle you have to lower the camera angle and zoom it just a little bit or else your camera will clip to the lamps up above and you will sometimes lose blizzards and potentially wipes so get used to new camera angles. Anyway the same kiting continues for 35 minutes and nobody got time to watch the video for that long so let's skip to the kill. Aggro. Use one of the many safe spots to reset to oozes, loot and rinse and repeat. All ghouls have respawned because we did not kill oozes. Remake gems and get ready to pull again. At peak performance we were doing this as 3 frost mages and 1 fire mage. Fastest run from pull to kill was 5 minutes. When I solo with my 2 mages I go for about 10 minutes clears. But more mages you bring, faster it is to farm epics, but less profit per mage it is. I'm showing this particular part of the video to illustrate the concept of farming epics for your attuned alt. All you have to do is stash your mage at the safe spot just in case he had ooze aggro. Crash the game and log your alt, who is also part of the raid and inside. He will spawn in the middle and to be eligible for loot, all alt has to do is attack all 9 ghouls. Easiest is to throw a grenade or an AoE spell. After 100 runs, this is the loot we've got. Ring did not drop, so I will have to come back and farm this every reset for 10 hours before my main raid, until it drops for me. And this is the gold gain from this past week, it's mental how much gold it is in the trash farming, and yet on our server only a few teams are doing it. We already crashed the prices of words on alliance side so I had to smuggle them to whore to crash theirs as well. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll see you in the next one.